Hello and welcome to yet another good advice video. Now in this one I want to explain how the Microsoft Office subscriptions work. They are a bit confusing, you have personal, you have business and some different types of them and some of them don't seem to offer more than the others but they do seem to cost more than the others so we'll kind of go through them and uh, I'll recommend which one to get for which option. Obviously it is all useful, it is all uh, Microsoft Office and we all use it so there's really probably no question whether to get it or not uh, but I will make some arguments on why to get it. Uh, now with all that said let's jump into my screen, we will take a look and we will find out what works for you. So you are now looking at the pricing page of this uh, office arrangement. Okay, and I'll explain a few things first. Don't get scared of these prices. You can see that these are a year. Okay, monthly, of course, it will be different. And what we will do, we will start from home. Okay, so that's your personal basically, and then you'll have business. So we will do business as well. It will be a bit different. Okay, there are some differences. And of course, the main difference is that you use personal for personal and if you need to do a sort of business write-off, you should be using business, okay? It will be more appropriate. The prices are pretty much the same, but I'll get into all of that. Okay, so first of all, first of all, we have uh, three different plans and uh, this one on the left, family, is not the cheapest one, not the basic one. This one is the basic one, okay? We have uh, Microsoft 365 Personal, okay? And as you can see, it says Office 365 formally. Now, it is called Microsoft 365. It's not Office 365 anymore. It's not Microsoft Office 365. It's now Microsoft 365. Not that it matters. The benefits are the same, exactly the same. Uh, everything is the same. It's just the name that's different, basically, uh, which does actually make sense because it's not just the office you get. You get a lot more of these uh, Microsoft products. Okay, so let's start. We have $69.99 a year or $6.99 per month. Personally, I have this plan, I enjoy it, and I pay a month, okay? I don't want to pay a year, I prefer to pay a month. The difference isn't that big, I wouldn't save anything at all, okay? I would actually save something, but uh, I prefer to pay by month. Uh, it's not that much of a difference, okay? And then what you get included here. As you can see, all of these options pretty much uh, have the same things included, but I do have to say something. We have personal, we have family, and then we have uh, home and student. This is a sort of standalone purchase, okay? So we are not looking at this thing. This, not, this is not a subscription, this is a standalone purchase. That is if you only need uh, these three things and no services and no real benefits. Uh, I would not recommend this. I guess if you only need uh, Word and Excel and PowerPoint, that might be useful, but you really get a lot more for your money with these service plans, and I'll explain why. Okay, so we have $6.99, and then we have family, $9.99, okay? Now, with $6.99, you can use it on several computers and several devices that you own, okay? That you are connected to with your account. That is all possible, that is all great, okay? You can use it on your phone as well, but if you want to share the subscription with the other accounts, okay, with your friends and family, you should go with a family. And as you can see, you can share up to six people. With up to six people, you can share. So if you have your sons, daughters, uh, mothers, grandmothers, uh, uh, brothers and sisters, you can share it with them. You can share it with your uh, household or with your mates uh, or whatever it may be, okay? So it might be useful if you have someone to share it with, okay? If you do not, then there's no point in buying and paying $9.99, just pay $6.99. That is the main difference in these, okay? So we, we now look at this uh, main one, personal one, okay? And I'll explain the benefits, why you should actually get this, okay? 
First of all, we get, of course, these uh, Word, Excels, and PowerPoints, and all that stuff. That's all great. Then Outlook and uh, uh, Publisher, which can be quite useful. Actually, I have used it in the past. Uh, I've used it to create a few sort of logos, uh, presentations, something like that. Uh, something basic, but quite useful, quite useful. Now, the truly useful part of this, okay, this is where the value is at, okay? It's not in the Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. That's all great to have, but we want a bit more, right? We want a bit more. So the good part is one drive, okay? One drive. You get one terabyte of storage space. This is what you would pay if, if you didn't have Microsoft 365. Pretty much the same price, uh, except for you get all these different great things. That's one terabyte of space, more than enough, I believe, for most people. And you can buy extra if you need that. But you get that for free with your subscription. Absolutely great. Amazing. Okay. What more could you ask for? But there is actually more. You get Skype. Now, of course, Skype is free, you might say. But what you get is 60 minutes in credits, okay? 60 minutes for calls. Now, you may not know or you may know that Skype allows you to call phone numbers, okay? You can call phone numbers worldwide and uh, you can buy Skype credits. It's a lot cheaper usually than using your normal phone. And uh, it's really a good thing. It's easy to use. I've used it many, many times. Uh, and you can buy these credits, you can buy different plans. But with this, you get 60 minutes worldwide for free. So these are the main benefits. 60 minutes of Skype and one drive, one terabyte. That's great, okay? Now, if we go a bit deeper, uh, we can find in the family edition, you see it's one terabyte per person. So everyone gets one terabyte, uh, which is of course great, right? And then we get all these different things as you can see. Not something uh, too excited, exciting perhaps. Uh, we have on ongoing technical support, which is, uh, it should be there. You would expect that to be there. And that's really all there is to it. This is the personal. Now you have the link in the description to this uh, uh, selection. Again, if you have someone to share it with, choose family. If you do not, choose personal. That's all there is to it. Go to the link, check out the benefits, check out everything and get yourself your office package. Now for the business, okay, for the business. That will be a bit more tricky, I would say, okay. First of all, we have 65, 365 business basic, okay. We have business standard, we have business premium, and we have apps, okay? We have apps. See, it says that need office apps, office apps and cloud storage. So you can probably predict that with this, you get the office applications, Excel, Word, and the usual, and then cloud storage, right? Okay, and then this okay so the office apps and the cloud storage this would be the apps and it's really a good option it's really a good option you see it's user a month so if you have more employees more computers you will need to pay more of course uh, but i would say i would say this really is a good option but this is annual commitment okay these things as you can see are annual commitment you need to pay for the whole year, in other words, right? But in any case, you have 825 for your business, just the apps and cloud storage. I would say this is a great deal for a business, okay? You have cloud storage, everything is great, okay? If we go down here, if we go down here, if we can actually properly go down here, uh, we'll find um, the cloud storage somewhere. I can actually get it and find it somewhere right here that would be a cloud storage and as you can see it's one terabyte i'm not lying to you it says one terabyte of cloud storage and one drive uh, which is great and you get that as you can see with all these plans obviously you get that with all of these if you get that with basic one right now then we have 20 a month uh, 12 and then we have five basic basic 
okay and we have premium office apps included web and mobile okay web and mobile now think about it you have office uh, all these excels and my uh, and words uh, on mobile right and then you have that web interface that's what you have you do not have proper word and excel access on your computer uh, where you download the stuff uh, you can work with it you can work with it when you have no internet connection and things like that you do not you do not get that with this uh, and i do believe it can be quite annoying if your internet connection is slow if, if the internet connection is slow in the office it will be a hassle it will be a hassle your workers, uh, your colleagues will be terribly unhappy, okay? It will be just so annoying. So I don't think it's a good idea to be a Scrooge on a few dollars here. If you don't want standard, go with the apps. At least you get proper apps uh, in there. Although with this you get uh, uh, Teams, Exchange and SharePoint if you need that. Uh, you have some some different options here some different options uh, i do have to say uh, the choices are quite interesting in business okay you have something to choose from now i would say if you have a very simple small business say three five people maybe even a bit more you don't need to really collaborate too much you work in an office you're not working uh, online, uh, then apps, apps, the plan would be the best, I believe. Okay, we have uh, all the main stuff. We have OneDrive to share files, to exchange files. We don't need Exchange and Teams and all that stuff if we're all in the same room. And uh, uh, really, with that kind of an arrangement, three, five people, maybe even more, you can connect on Skype, you can do all those different things. You don't need uh, to go beyond that. Having said that, if you do $5 a month, it's a bit of a waste, I think. Okay, it will be a waste of time. It will be a waste of everything. $12.50 would be the sort of ideal plan. You get everything. You get all those online business tools. As you can see, Teams, Exchange and SharePoint. So this is uh, an ideal plan if you have more colleagues, if you have more employees, right? You have, uh, you need perhaps uh, these exchanges and teams to work with them. Might be useful. If you do not need them, again, if you do not need them, then throw it, throw this one out and, and, and get uh, 825 apps. And why not? Okay, you're saving a bit of money. And remember, this is per user, okay? Per user. So it will be quite expensive here. It's expen It's more expensive than the uh, personal plans, uh, but you do get a bit more, it seems, okay? Now, we end up with $20. Uh, we end with rather $20. And um, you can see, you can see right away with this, you get Intune and uh, Azure Information Protection. I am not going to talk about these two things. I am aware of what they are, but if you are not aware of what they are, you shouldn't even consider this plan. Because, because it includes everything that 1250 does, but it costs a lot more, almost twice as much, okay? And you get these two things that I do believe most people don't even know about, okay? If you know about them, then sure, get them, okay? If you don't, then don't even consider this one. Go with the 1250 or go with 825. Those are the two options. Now, the links are provided and we will end with this. Now then, I do hope you enjoyed this uh, whole video and this whole arrangement. Do check out the links in the description for the subscriptions uh, and also subscribe to this channel for more good advice videos coming soon, giving you good advice free of charge uh, and all that stuff. And with that said, I do hope you enjoyed this and see you next time.